So I'm heated. It's only nine o'clock in the morning, but my morning was going so well. And as I usually do, I'm browsing, scrolling through my YouTube over the YouTube makeup community. Why is it that every YouTube makeup person like has the same idea like no none of them they're not able to think outside the box i watch some of their videos i don't feel like they say anything that's quite that useful they're always in the middle of some drama or another it's like why are we why why what what is the purpose of this community this community needs to go so their platform is pretty large you know they have like all these youngins you know their youngins are like oh yeah Let's see what video is out today for the makeup. Let's see what's happening. And they can't find the way to do something productive with the platform. Tati Westbrook, right? She's one of the ones that pisses me off the absolute most, by the way. Then there's this chick, Jas Jacqueline. Jacqueline, her products are trash, you know? And so I'm just like, look, like the youtube influencers supposedly makeup experts at this point if they knew what they were doing if they were just like any type of useful they would have been taken over the makeup game in general but everything that they've put out over the years is crumbling and it's not worth anything and people are more and more starting to see that and less and less opening up their their wallets to be like here's my 20 20 dollars for something that i can go to fenty beauty spend like 15 bucks and get a hundred a hundred times better quality for i don't understand it also here's another thing that pisses me off about these youtube beauty influencers they <laughs> when they get big enough to put out a product they don't focus on diversity a lot of them just put out products for people that look like them. And so they aren't, they aren't able to like expand their mindset and their thinking. And these YouTube channels, like their channels don't focus on diversity. And so they narrow themselves into, they cage themselves into only really being able to market and sell to people that look like them, which makes no sense to me i'm like what the hell how do you expect to grow anything if you can't reach your mass audience people that have access to seeing you people you know like i just don't get it so they will create a product and only be able to sell it to like a certain few people that look like them so why the hell with someone like me, for example, go watch your channel, Tati Westbrook. Why the hell would someone like me, for example, go watch your channel, Jacqueline, whatever. Not only that, one of the things that pisses me off the most is that within the YouTube makeup community, the YouTube makeup influencers or whatever the hell, like you would think that it's, you know, kind of like their job to know all of these things about makeup. But they don't know. They strike me as people that don't know what the hell they're doing. Like a lot of those videos, like I'll watch them and I'm like, you look worse than you than what you started with. Like, I just don't understand like why people are watching this because you end up looking worse than before. Like, for example, some videos, they will put on their makeup and they'll be like, well, that didn't really come out as great as I was thinking. And I'm like, I mean, if you're doing a makeup review and you're the one putting on the makeup, then why the fuck do you look worse than when you started? Like, that's why, like, I just don't get it. And I just don't get why they are so unoriginal in their thinking. It makes me feel like most of this makeup YouTube influencers are airheads like they just got they just got lucky at that point in time a lot of people were into makeup and so they started getting views but apart from putting on the camera and just putting some stuff on their face they don't know what the hell they're doing they have no idea what's going on they can't put two and two together and it pisses me off you know why it pisses me off because it's just it's just annoying to see dumb people hello shall we Hey, hey, it's Peter Griffin. 
Yeah, it's right, senior prom. Yeah, no, it's been a while. Yeah. So, uh, listen, um, I just found out I'm retarded, and um, I'm just calling to let you know uh, you might want to get yourself tested. Hello? In the drama. I can't remember the other two, their names, the, the guys. I, I don't know. There's so many of them. You guys know who they are. The drama, the back and forth. And when you look at the ages of these people, like, you you know, you're thinking in your mind, like, these people aren't young. You know, they're old enough to hopefully know better. But, you know, they go back and forth and they just essentially ruin themselves. And it is a very sad thing to see because now the YouTube makeup community might as well be non-existent. I cannot trust any of them, any of them, because they never look like they quite know what the hell they're talking about. And like, first of all, I feel like 2021, you know, stop watching makeup videos and how to put on the makeup and stuff like that and just try to learn what your skin needs so you don't even have to worry about putting on makeup. You can just get out the door, you know, make sure your hair is looking cute and your skin is shining all the time. So you don't have to worry about, oh, I got to put on makeup, this and that, except if you're like going out to like, you know, the club, hey, or going out to eat or hanging out with friends that you can put on like makeup and, and just go and be looking scrumptious. That's that's my thing. I, you know what? That's what I do. I try to take care of my skin so I don't got to worry about putting on makeup when I walk out the door. I don't even want to worry about it, like period. And to find good makeup, because I do use makeup, okay? I do use makeup, but I only use it if I'm like getting ready to go out to some type of event or something like that. Or if I feel like, oh, I want to just get a little bit dolled up, then I'll use it, right? And I'm not going to sit here and start buying stuff just because this influencer said, oh, well, this, you know, and, and one thing that I've noticed, you guys, about this this these YouTube makeup influencers is they never quite say anything that useful apart from the ones that maybe will tell us the price of the product at which they bought the product at and you know they'll put it on but it's hard to still tell because if you have a different type of skin if you're a different skin color and stuff you, you still have to kind of like figure it out on your own almost and so it almost makes it a waste of your time so I just feel like they are so unoriginal all they come up with all of them they all they come up with is makeup and so they're i you know what i'm saying like all all they come up with to sell is makeup and so now they've put them, themselves in a the position where they're all fighting against each other for clientele because it's all the same client base and so someone is gonna lose if not all of you are gonna lose and from what it looks like to me all of them are losing because you know, you have Kylie C Cosmetics, which is huge. And I think that's on the decline as well. People aren't really buying makeup from Kylie as much. Uh, you have Fenty Beauty. I am a avid supporter of Fenty Beauty. I love their products. It's just worth it to me. And the diversity in the amount of like shades that they have, I'm like, why would I really go anywhere else? They pretty much have everything that I need, everything that I'm looking for. Why complicate my life? So that's what I'm thinking. And so it's like, if you can't put together something, if, if you wanna go with makeup, fine, right? That's my thing. I'm like, if you wanna go with makeup, okay, sure, fine. But fix a problem, fix a problem. Don't give us the same that we can go around the corner at Walgreens and buy. And I feel like that's what most of these YouTube makeup influencers give us. I have not seen one yet that is that has given us anything useful or that anything useful has come from their platform. And it just, it heats me up. I'm heated about that, y'all. Like, I'm like, the fuck? like, if you're gonna be within the makeup space, then fix a problem. And you'll see them in their videos when they're commenting about these different makeups. Oh, I wish this concealer and this would blend in better with this. Wouldn't that be like the perfect solution? The f then why don't you make that and fix a problem to make it to where us as consumers, it's worth our time and energy. They're not fixing any problems. And, and, and they're, you know, they're just creating makeup and to make matters worse the makeup that they create is sub 
par. And to make matter worse, none of them can think outside the box. They're not business minded people. They're not people that are smart or savvy. It drives me nuts because now I can't think of a single one of them that is actually um successful in any sense of the word right uh they just kind of use their drama and to to stay on, on the news and things like that so hopefully people will will buy their <laughs> the youtube makeup community needs to be gone like it's dead it's a dead community non-existent and it's so sad because like within makeup there's so much there was so there is so much money that can be made however you know these people that youtube started with because most of these people were there when youtube first started not too long ago like a number of years ago and that's why their platform blew up the way that it did have essentially ruined it for everyone else so if you're thinking oh i want to start a youtube channel and be a makeup person you got to think think really, really hard about that. Think really, really hard about that because they have made it very, very hard to thrive within that community. They haven't set the groundwork up. And matter of fact, the whole groundwork is destroyed and non-existent. And I don't see, when I watch these, I don't see the reason why I would, first of all, AKA, spend any money on that. You're not fixing any of my problems. You're not really telling me anything useful. You don't bring other people in and do their makeup on a regular basis so we can get a glimpse of like what it looks like on different skin tones and different skin color you don't do sh you don't do nothing but put the make makeup on yourself what's that supposed to do for me like now i gotta use my imagination anyway i do that anyway when i go to the store and i look at the makeup and the product of what it is that i use my imagination like hey like is it something that will look good on me so i do that anyway so what are you producing i don't get it you know so that's that's like super huge to me and they and they will come on and act like they're giving you something or doing something for you. The f You're not doing nothing for me. Like, what are you doing? And they will sit here and and try to manipulate you through their the entirety of their video because they know that that's all that they're good for. They're not really good for anything else. And people are starting to see through that. So if you're one of the ones that's still buying products and stuff from these people, like. I would encourage you to reevaluate your entire life. I mean, <laughs> you can be bad if you want to, but I'm just saying there's so much better out there. You know, like Fenty Beauty, there's Rare Beauty now that I heard about. I don't think their make makeup is, like, I don't think their makeup is bad for Rare Beauty. I just think it's super pricey and it's overpriced for the quality. But I will just say there's just other products out there where companies that are putting it out there can afford to give us the variety that we need. So unless this influencer is fixing a very specific problem for you, then you're just kind of wasting your money. Like I would just reevaluate that whole thing and that whole process. It's like watching for entertainment is one thing, but it's like, how entertaining can that continue to be watching the same thing over and over again? I don't know. Y'all, what do you guys think? I mean, I don't know. That's where I'm at. That's what I think. I think like it's dead. The YouTube makeup community is dud. It's dead. It's done. And if you're still being super influenced by that stuff and spending money on that stuff, you need to reevaluate your entire life. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you guys for joining me today. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe and the like button uh, for more videos. And I will see you guys in the next one. See ya.